Hey what's up guys, totally dubbed here and today I'm making a quick overview of the ROM Innovation by Fargab. Um, I know there will be a newer version coming out, well hopefully soon, but this is based on JVT. I just want to show you, this ROM is blazing, blazing fast. Um, I don't know if you can see but, and if you can feel it, but god it is absolutely lightning fast. Um, it's probably the quickest JVT ROM I have ever used. Um, it is absolutely brilliant, as in, look at that. And it's talking on my phone, my phone is a little bit slower than my mum's phone for example. So it's absolutely blisteringly fast. Um, now the reason why it's super fast <laughs> is because I've got neutrality, wherever it is, there you are. And I've got the pop-up, um, if I can go on UI tweaks. I've got the pop-up animation on fast and I had the transition on fast. If I go on normal, it's a little slower, much smoother. This is how it comes, like the ROM comes and you get CRT effect. When you go on fast, you don't get the same CRT, eff CRT effect. In fact, you don't get a CRT effect, but the ROM, as you can see, will, is much like snappier. So if you don't care about CRT effect, I definitely suggest that because that's like a cheap cheap way of getting your phone to go super fast. Um, as you can see um, from the Darky OTA app, I um, added some uh, honeycomb theme up there. So you can see it's uh, themed at the moment. But forget the theme, what we're talking about is the ROM. So the ROM is, is pretty much like what you'd expect. Um, so there's nothing out of the blue um, that's different. There's some extra options that you you might get over here. For example, let me try and think. Uh, like screen lock sounds. Um, let's see if we can. There you go. It comes on. So that you wouldn't get. You've unfortunately only got uh, one lock screen, which is the uh, I think it's the Android the Android lock screen. It's unlocked. But um, and. Yeah, and the apps inside are basically almost like you get on the SGS1, stock SGS1. They're not the SGS2 ones. Uh, the market is new. It's the new market, which isn't bad. I personally prefer the old one or the ICS one, which based on this, I think, but it seems a little bit snappier and faster, um, especially if your connection is a little bit slow like mine, so it's a little bit of a pain in the ass. Um, and obviously you can see the music is just normal. Um, and what else there is to it? It's got a TW3 launcher built in um, normally. As you can see, I put Zeem launcher on it, so I'm just going to show you that right now. Uh, manage applications, and then go down to Zeem, and we shall clear the defaults. Go into TW launcher. So this is TW launcher, uh, as you know it. Just give it some time to load. Uh, there you go. As you can see, it's TW3. Uh, it's not TW4, which is much better in, in my opinion because TW4 is very buggy on the SGS1. At least that's what I think. Uh, and that's what I find. But um, there's nothing else much to it. And that's that's basically the ROM. There's a quick ROM, o well, quick ROM overview of it. Uh, as you can see, I've got all my apps. And um, it comes with uh, Semaphore uh, 1.9 built in. There you go. This is the things. Semaphore JVT 1.9. This is F1 Innovation V14. It's based on JVT 2.3.5 firmware. And finally, I'll just go show you. Again, this dialer is from the Darky ROM uh, OTA. And there you go, JVT, JVT, JVT. So it's all based on JVT. So yeah. I hope you've enjoyed this video guys, uh, please do rate, comment, subscribe and I will now be flashing for you guys um, ICS beta and showing you an overview of that. Alright, take care guys, bye bye.